What's wrong? My parents. Irodotos. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd be able to see them again. To show them my life's work. But now, I'm sorry to ask this of you. But could you take me to Samos? I need to pay my respects. Of course, my friend. Thank you. I'm not sure I could make this trip alone. This is it. How does it feel being back? It feels like... Uh, uh, words escape me. That's a first. To my eyes, it's home. The smells and sounds are familiar, but it's been so long. I don't know if I can do this. You've done more difficult things. Challenges we overcome always seem easier when they're behind us. What would you do? Hold my head high, walk with purpose, push those feelings of doubt aside. You're right. I suppose we should head to my family home first. Lead the way. was so exciting as a child. How so? There was always a new ship to see, new people to watch, from the sailors, often a new word to learn, <laughs> most of which got me in trouble. I'm sure your mother remembered those days for me. I know I do. So many faces I don't recognize. You've been gone a long time. Even so, I was hoping there'd be someone I know. Someone who'd remind me of my life before I left. We've only just arrived. It'll be okay. Here we are. This is where I called home for most of my childhood. Most? I came to Samos at a young age, but I was born in Aligarnassos. Those are days I'd rather not remember. Mm. It doesn't look like it's changed much in my absence. One of your toys? It was my brother's. I often hid it when he wouldn't let me play with it. This pottery looks special. My father always felt art was a great outlet when things seemed overwhelming. A tablet. Looks like some old writing. These ships never stay for long. Samos is a place people come for a visit, but not to live. Is there something about this place I don't yet see? One of my first writings. I was always restless here. Always wanting to learn more about the world beyond, and the world that was. Herodotos! Mistor! Praise the gods! It's been far too long! It has indeed. You're looking well. As are you, Theodorus. 
I can't believe you've come skulking back. After all this time, I should go. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> you have some nerve, little brother. You stroll back into this house when you didn't even return for the funeral. I regret ever sending you that letter. Why doesn't everyone just take a deep breath? How could you say I didn't come back when I'm here, right now? We came as soon as the letter arrived. You must have swam here then. It's been five moons since I sent that. And who are you exactly? How does any of this involve you? I'm a... He's a friend. Oh, how nice. You went off to write and explore while making friends, and you left me here to take care of everything. I couldn't stay here. I needed to leave. You could have taken me with you! I have things to attend to. One of us still cares about Samos. At least tell me where they died. We marked a spot on the nearby cliffs. Pay your respects, and then leave. There's nothing for you here now. I'm sure he's just surprised to see you. His eyes showed hatred. He probably missed you. You'll see. It's a bit late for that. I know this wasn't the welcome you were expecting. But perhaps it was the one I deserved. For now, I only want to see where they died. I owe that to them. I'll come with you. I'd like that. If you're ready, we should go. Waiting to face reality will do me no good. Seems like a nice place to grow up. It was. I spent a lot of time on my own, or with Theodorus and Misto. My parents are... were influential here. So they were often busy. But it wasn't the life for you. There's only so many ships you can see sail away as a boy, before you feel the pull to leave as well. where my parents last stood. Where fate decided to take them from us. I thought I'd write about their history on Samos and all they did one day. But not this soon. I should have been here. Should never have left. There is no point thinking about things you should have done. That doesn't help. But... You're not a fighter, Herodotus. You couldn't have stopped this. Perhaps you're right. 
I want you to remember that while we're on Samos. I'll try. I just wish I could have seen them once more. Do you have a favorite memory of them? I remember when my father taught me to swim. He tossed me off the side of the dock. I thought I was going to drown, but then I saw what I thought was a shark. I flailed my arms and kicked my legs until I made it to shore, only to see it was Theodorus with a bit of rock above his head. <laughs> I still remember the sound of my father's laugh and the warmth of my mother's embrace. Did your parents like it on Samos? It was more than just a home to them. I saw how happy this place made them and only wanted to feel the same somewhere as well. What did your parents think of your writing? They always encouraged it. It helped that Theodorus was talented as well, although he always felt more drawn to poetry. If it weren't for their support, there's a good chance I would have never pursued it. If there's anything you'd like to say about your parents, you should. I always feel more comfortable writing than I do speaking. I'm not going to judge. And I know they wouldn't either. They meant everything to me. They always encouraged me. I knew they'd be happy for me no matter what. I'm sorry I didn't come back sooner. There was so much I wanted to tell you, to show you. Mother, you were one of the strongest people I knew. You pushed for truth, no matter the obstacle. Father, your compassion is something I won't soon forget. You taught me it was okay to feel for myself and for others. Your names and deeds won't be forgotten. We should head back. They don't belong here. I have never heard of the being on Samos. Something is going on. Maybe the other. Stay close. The question is whether they came on their own or someone sent them. We can't wait much longer. You're back. I hoped you'd set sail already. Now isn't the time. We were just attacked. Gods curse these warring Greeks. Was it the Athenians or the Spartans this time? Neither. It was a group called the Followers of Ares. Whoever it was, thank the gods you're okay. Have either of you heard of the Followers of Ares? Only in name. Who are they? They only care for one thing. War. And you believe they're here, on Samos? They're the ones who attacked us. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Strange ships docking, uh, groups of people you haven't seen before. No, things have been normal. It's been a welcome change. Something is happening here on Samos. We need answers. He's right. If the followers of Ares are here, 
There's a reason for it. Then it's another reason for you to go. We'll handle whatever is happening here. This is my home too. I'm not leaving until I get to the bottom of this. If it's not safe, you shouldn't stay. He's plenty safe with me. Of course. Come, mister. If this fool won't heed our warnings, it's not our concern. They weren't much help. Something doesn't add up. How could Theodoros and Mister both know nothing? I think they were keeping something from us. But why? That's what we need to find out. What's next? If they're somewhere on this island, they'd stay away from the city. There was a cave I used to play in as a child. It may be worth looking into. Let's start there. Follow you in after you've finished. Killing everyone inside. Yes.
So this is where they've been hiding. You are right to suggest we look here. But they've been dealt with. We still need to find out what they were doing here in the first place. Let's look around. They're all quite influential on Samos, but Missos is missing. These coins aren't like any I've seen before. I have. They're Persian. Athenian and Spartan uniforms. They could have the people of Samos believe they were attacking from either side. I didn't take the followers of Ares to be lovers of poetry. They're not. This work... It's awfully close to the style Theodorus uses. Why would his writings be here? I didn't take them for the heirloom type. How did they? That's our family's sigil. They must have stolen it. There's no way they could have found that on their own. It was given to them. I'm afraid to even say what I think is going on here. I'll say it. Persia wants to take Samos. I think you're right. It's close enough to places like Athens and Sparta, but small enough to not draw their attention. Makes sense. Unfortunately, that's not the worst part. What is it? If Persia is involved, they couldn't have done this alone. They would have needed someone here to help them. Someone with ties to the Empire. And influence on Samos. Yes, other than myself, there are only two others who could be responsible for what's going to happen and for what already has. <sighs> Herodotus. With everything we've found, everything you've seen and heard, please. Just tell me which of them it is. It's Theodorus. He's working for the Persians and brought the followers of Ares here. I was afraid you'd say that. But I know you must be right. What do you want to do now? I need to talk to Theodorus. I don't understand why he'd do this. Dragmi can be a powerful motivator. As can the promise of power. But... He already had both of those. I know you want to understand it all, but we don't always get the answers we seek. It's as if you've forgotten that you no longer live here, Herodotus. We know what you did. We found the cave where the followers of Ares were hiding. Why are you working for the Persians? The people of Samos don't deserve to be subjected to the same things we were. Or do you not remember why we left in the first place? How dare you? Everything I've done has been for the good of Samos. I wish to free Samos from this war. 
But for you to accuse me of handing it to the Persians, did you order them to kill our parents, or was it a mistake on their part? I... You should have never come back here. Theodoros! I know you care deeply for your brother, but this isn't finished. We tasked ourselves with protecting Samus, and it's not yet safe. We need to go after him. Where to? To find Mistur, and Theodorus too. There's no way Theodorus could have ordered... Customer. Come back anytime. I should be careful. High security here. You should be safe now. Where's Mistor? After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed impatient. Oh, 
Theodorus. Not another word from you. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Once you've dealt with Mistor, you need to leave for good. Samos won't need you any longer. Neither will I. You know what needs to be done now, right? Unfortunately, I do. You can stay behind if you want. I can do it myself. No. I need to see him. I need to know why he did this. You got me. How could you do this? After everything our family did for you. They took you in, and you had them killed. That was an unfortunate accident. I promise you, I weep for their deaths every day. I can't trust anything you say. Why trick Theodoros into helping you? Allies are hard to come by, and Theodoros was more than willing. Tell me what the Persians are planning. Samos would make a good stronghold, don't you think? You betrayed Samos, your family. Not your... everything is black and white. Sometimes, people need others to make the best decision for them. And they're giving me Samos to rule. It doesn't matter now. The followers of Ares working for you are dead. Everyone will know what you did here. I'll make sure of it. Oh, I hope you do. I've always wanted my name to be remembered. However, you may not want to start writing just yet. What do you mean? The ships are already on their way. Let him go. We need to stop the ships. I'll meet you there. I 
Fist is yours! Who's ready? Get your weapons ready! Let's see how they like play! Fear is the Fear! Fire! After his failure, he won't get a second chance. Plus, there's no way he'd stay on Samos now. About Theodoros, it was my fault you accused him. But only because I didn't trust myself enough to do so. But you trusted me. My trust in you was sound. It was still my choice to accuse him, not yours. Thank you for everything, Alexios. Without you, I couldn't have gotten through this. Let's go, Phobos. Yeah! 
Best to stay out of sight. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. I treated her like a child. With the intent to protect her, you were not only her friend, but her guardian. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared this burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I helped him all I could. He was my friend. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Alexios killed the monger as an act of espionage. That's exciting. Write a scene like that. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. You want romance? I hear he pursued a pirate queen. Exenia, do tell. My lips are sealed. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink.
to us who have persisted through everything, and to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes feel like we've spent as much time at sea as on land. You may be right. We've traveled a lot together. I think it may be time I set off on my own. I knew it would happen one day, but I wish it didn't have to. I know. We've been through far more than most people will ever experience in their lives. But even so, it will be a weird feeling. It will take some getting used to. Well, where should I take you? The docks near Athens should do. There are some others I'd like to say goodbye to as well. I'm sure they'll be sorry to see you go. To Athens. I sometimes pinch myself to make sure that I'm awake and that all we went through truly happened. With your writings, it won't soon be forgotten either. The world will be better knowing. My mind is flooded with the memories of all we experienced. Do you have a favorite? How could I possibly decide? You opened my eyes to so much uncovered so many secrets and mysteries that will change the course of the world. Your spear and all it suggests. Atlantis, the cult. None of those things are mine alone to take credit for. You were there through it all. How could I ignore what was so clearly in front of me? You couldn't, which is why you have as much of a claim to all we did. I wonder what the great Eagle Bearer will remember best from this journey. It's like you said. It's impossible to pick just one. It feels we met so long ago now, but we've also been through a lot in such a short time. I'm glad you visited the Pythia that day and saw Varnavas. I guess this is it. As much as I'll miss our conversations, this is where our paths diverge. Where is your path taking you now? To Thuri. What's waiting for you there? That's the exciting part. I have no idea. I'm not sure anyone loves the unknown as much as you. It only stays that way until someone cares enough to make it known. In Thuri, that someone will be me. Will I see you again? Our paths may cross once more. And I hope they do. If that comes to pass after all, it likely means something big is following, close behind. Then I hope our adventures are nowhere near complete. I've never been great at saying goodbye. To do so is to impart a sense of finality, and we have no way of knowing if this truly is goodbye. Good luck in your travels, Herodotus. I can't wait to hear what you get yourself into. I'll share my stories with you, so long as you bring some new ones of your own. <laughs> I can do that.
There's much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon. 